Welcome to this worship service for May 31, Pentecost Sunday for Zion Lutheran Church, Deer Park. Pentecost is often called the birthday of the church. So since you are all the church, happy birthday. This worship video is one of three videos for this Sunday. The other two are Belfry Bunch and the Sermon. Also, on my YouTube channel, you can scroll down and find a video for Holy Communion for those who live alone. On this morning's worship email, we again attach the document where you can have uh, Holy Communion in your home with someone in the household taking the leader part. We have a new worship service for today. We have a spoken word worship service for Pentecost. The worship service will lift up the Holy Spirit. Also, the sermon today touches on the waters of baptism. So the worship service will begin with a thanksgiving for baptism. This is in place of the confession and forgiveness. During this worship video, the words for you to speak will either appear on the screen or I will tell you the words to say. Also, all the words of the worship service are in a document attached to the Sunday worship uh, email. This time uh, in our country is uh, a time of great sadness uh, with the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis and the repercussions. Uh, I'd like to begin our time with a time of silence for all who are victims of injustice, uh, George Floyd and too many, too many other people. And in the silence, pray that our country can finally uh, move forward in a way of justice for all people. We take a moment of silence and begin our worship. Amen. We will begin with thanksgiving for baptism. Uh, you will have a response that will come up on the screen in a moment. Blessed be the Holy Trinity, one God, the fountain of living water, the rock who gave us birth and the light of our salvation. Amen. Joined to Christ in the waters of baptism, we are clothed with God's mercy and forgiveness. Let us give thanks for the gift of baptism. We give you thanks, O God, for in the beginning your spirit moved over the waters, and by your word you created the world, calling forth life in which you took delight. Through the waters of the flood you delivered Noah and his family. Through the sea you led your people Israel from slavery to freedom. At the river your son was baptized by John and anointed with the Holy Spirit. By water and the word, you claim us as daughters and sons, making us heirs of your promise and servants of all. We praise you for the gift of water that sustains life, and above all, we praise you for the gift of new life in Jesus Christ. Shower us with your spirit and renew our lives with your forgiveness, grace, and love. To you be given honor and praise through Jesus Christ our Lord, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. We continue with the greeting. Spirit, spirit of gentleness, blow through the wilderness, calling and free. Spirit, spirit of restlessness, Stir me from placidness, wind, wind on the sea. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. We continue with a responsive Pentecost litany. Please read the parts in bold. Lord, your spirit hovered on the waters as you made the earth. Your spirit breathed life into human beings. The Spirit inspired prophets to speak out against injustice. It sang praises and laments with the psalmist. When Jesus was baptized, we knew him through the descent of the Spirit. When flames danced among the disciples, the church came into being. 
Your spirit guided the journeys of Peter and Paul. Your spirit moves among us today, molding us into one body out of many. Let us praise the work of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray together the prayer of the day. O oh God, on this day, you open the hearts of your faithful people by, this, by sending into us your Holy Spirit. Direct us by the light of that Spirit that we may have a right judgment in all things and rejoice at all times in your peace. Through Jesus Christ, your Son and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We continue with God's word for this Pentecost Sunday. Uh, today's sermon is drawn from both the first reading from Acts chapter 2 and the gospel reading, J Gospel of John, John 7, 37 to 39. I read the John passage on the sermon video. So here I'll read the Acts passage and then the two other passages appointed for Pentecost Sunday. A reading from Acts, the second chapter. When the day of Pentecost had come, the apostles were all together in one place. And suddenly from heaven there, there came a sound like the rush of a violent wind, and it filled the entire house where they were sitting. Divided tongues, as of fire, appeared among them, and a tongue rested on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit, and began to speak in other languages, as the Spirit gave them ability. Now there were devout Jews from every nation under heaven living in Jerusalem. And at this sound the crowd gathered and was bewildered, because each one heard them speaking in the native language of each. Amazed and astonished, they asked, Are not all of these who are speaking Galileans? And how is it that we hear each of us in our own native language? Parthians, Medes, Elamites, and residents of Mesopotamia, Judea and Cappadocia, Pontus and Asia, Phrygia and Pamphylia, Egypt, and the parts of Libya belonging to Cyrene, and visitors from Rome, both Jews and proselytes, Cretans and Arabs, in our own language we hear them speaking about God's deeds of power. All were amazed and perplexed, saying to one another, what does this mean? But others sneered and said, They are filled with new wine. But Peter, standing with the eleven, raised his voice and addressed them, Men of Judea and all who live in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to what I say. Indeed, these are not drunk, as you suppose, for it's only nine o'clock in the morning. No, this is what was spoken through the prophet Joel. In the last days, it will be, God declares, that I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh, and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy, and your young men shall see visions, and your old men shall dream dreams. Even upon my slaves, both men and women, in those days I will pour out my spirit, and they shall prophesy. And I will show portents in heaven above, and signs on the earth below, blood and fire and smoky mist. The sun shall be turned to darkness and the moon to blood before the coming of the Lord's great and glorious day, that everyone who calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. We continue with the psalm, Psalm 104. We will read the psalm responsibly, if you'll read the parts in bold. How manifold are your works, O Lord! In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. Yonder is the sea, great and wide, with its swarms too many to number, living things both small and great. There go the ships to and fro, and Leviathan, which you have made for the sport of it. All of them look to you to give them their food in due season. You give it to them, they gather it, you open your hand, and they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are terrified. When you take away their breath, they die and return to their dust. 
You send forth your spirit, and they are created, and so you renew the face of the earth. May the glory of the Lord endure forever. O Lord, rejoice in all your works. You look at the earth, and it trembles. You touch the mountains, and they smoke. I will sing to the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being. May these words of mine please God. I will rejoice in the Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul. Hallelujah. The second reading is from 1 Corinthians, the 12th chapter. Paul writes, No one can say Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. Now there are a variety of gifts, but the same Spirit. And there are varieties of service, services, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. To one is given through the Spirit the utterance of wisdom, and to another the utterance of knowledge according to the same Spirit. To another faith by the same Spirit. To another gifts of healing by the one Spirit. To another the working of miracles. To another prophecy. To another the discernment of spirits. To another various kinds of tongues to another the interpretation of tongues. All of these are activated by one and the same Spirit, who allots to each one individually, just as the Spirit chooses. For just as the body is one and has many members, and all the members of the body, though many, are one body, so it is with Christ. For in one Spirit we were all baptized into one body, Jews or Greeks, slaves or free, and we were all made to drink of the one Spirit. Word of God, word of life. Thanks be to God. Let us respond to God's word by confessing our faith. Often on the festivals of the church, like Pentecost, we turn to the Nicene Creed, and so let us speak together the words of the Nicene Creed as we respond to the good news from God's word. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord, Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, of one being with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation he came down from heaven was incarnate of the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary, and became truly human. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. On the third day he rose again, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. We continue with the prayers of the people. The response today is, your mercy is great. That is, your mercy is great. Rejoicing in the risen life of Christ, let us pray for the church, the world, and all who are in need. God of the church, fill us with the Holy Spirit that we may pour out your love to a world in need. Bless the work of your church throughout the world. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. God of the earth, we pray for city parks, wildlife refuge, and farmlands. Watch over agricultural workers, seafood harvesters, and subsistence farmers. Nourish the earth with seasonable weather and adequate rainfall. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. 
God of the nations. We pray for people of every land and language. We pray for the end of violence, warfare, and ethnic strife. Grant our leaders and ourselves the desire and wisdom to work for a world where justice is given equally to all people, regardless of ethnic background, gender, social status, or faith. Protect those who protect us, including our military and first responders. Hear us, O God. Your mercy is great. God of all in any need, we call on your spirit of healing. Bless nurses, doctors, midwives, chaplains, counselors, leaders of recovery meetings, and hospice workers as they care for those in need. We pray for all who long for comfort in body, mind, or spirit, and all affected by COVID-19. Hear us now as we name either aloud or silently those who are on our hearts this day, your names. Hear us, O God, your mercy is great. Into your hands, gracious God, we commend all for whom we pray, trusting in your mercy through Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. We continue with the offering prayer. And we'll give thanks for your faithful giving during this time we are physically apart. Gracious God, in the abundance of your steadfast love, you call us from death to life, from silence of speech, from idleness to action. With these gifts, we offer ourselves to you. And with the church through all the ages, we give thanks for your saving love in Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Lord, remember us in your kingdom and teach us to pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. I want to share with you a prayer of the ancient church for Pentecost. Come, O Holy Spirit, come. Come like holy fire and burn with us. Come like holy wind and cleanse us. Come like holy light and lead us. Come like holy truth and teach us. Come like holy love and enfold us. Come like holy power and enable us. Come as abundant life and fill us, convert us, consecrate us until we are wholly thine. Come, Holy Spirit, come. Amen. Receive the benediction. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine on you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Go in peace, the Spirit sends you out. Thanks be to God.